We've got the main gear put into the T-Rex 470LM. Time to put the rotor head together. Anti-rotation bracket sits back here in the, the white brackets. The Align logo goes to the back of the airframe. We've got the canopy standoffs act as bolts. Red lock like everything else. thread in. They've got a hole in, in them to allow you to put a, a driver to tighten them up. I want them to have to work a little better. This has a brass insert in it but you still don't want to over tighten these too much. So that's in. I've got the servo links on. Make sure on the, on the servo links just like any other aligned helicopter the A logo. I have a hard time seeing this. There we go. The A logo goes to the outer side. So in this case, the A logo is on the back here because the servo ball is on the back. When I get up on the swash plate, it'll be on the front. So I got servo links with the A's all facing out. We're going to bring the swash plate on here. Move the camera around a little bit. Now in this case I've got a 90 degree servo link already made up. What I'm going to do is slide the A to the outer side over the anti-rotation link and just go ahead and clip this one together off of the airframe. Okay, We're going to thread lock this and this is the way I've found to do this the easiest. This comes through the anti-rotation bracket 1.5 millimeter from the back here. Threads into the swash plate. And we're going to have to reach in through the back and get this other elevator servo ball link on. Okay, that one's on. Bring the side ones in here. So two forward cyclic. My 15 year old JR ball link players are getting a little tired here. Okay, so at this point, got the swash plate on and we're ready to do fly barless setup in the next step.